Are there any particular or unique challenges with marketing hit or this resistance training model that we follow in this yeah. Sure, I, I think we have to be very aware that what we think about when we think about intensity has evolved over the last few years. I mean, in 1988 and 1998, if you said hit or if you said intensity and anyone knew anything about it, they thought about single set training on well-designed strength training equipment, relatively brief workouts, relatively infrequent workouts. That's what HIT was or, or, or is. Well, fast forward to you know post-2010, when we say HIT, people say, oh yeah, I've done HIT, high intensity interval training. It's running intervals on a treadmill or on a rower or on a bike. And now when we think about intensity, there's the advent of things like CrossFit or so many similar concepts to that. And intensity has almost become synonymous with high risk of injury. And so I think when we market, we have to make sure we're telling the story that intensity doesn't mean haphazard exercise, because those who are promoting intensity today, I think haphazard exercise is almost synonymous with intensity. And we have to delink those things and say that from a marketing standpoint, this can be incredibly safe and it also can be intense. Now, that's important around messaging what high intensity exercise is, but I think our main marketing message is, and probably forever will be, efficiency. You know, as much as I think that our customers are enamored by the scientific approach and understanding the mechanics of the machine and all of, what it comes down to is they love Discover Strength, they love high intensity training, because they don't have to do it very often. And I laugh, I say, your favorite thing about us is that you rarely have to see us. You know, it hurts my feelings a little bit, but that makes sense to people. One to two workouts a week that are 30 minutes long is palatable. I mean, the number one barrier for exercise, whether it's aerobic exercise, resistance type exercise, is that I do not have the time. And of course, high intensity, a high intensity approach to resistance exercise alleviates or overcomes that barrier.